Let's take a minute to imagine a car. You can close your eyes if you want, but you don't have to. Let's think about the car. What color is it? Where's the car located? Is the car booking it down the street at 3 a.m.? Now, can you see a picture of the car in your mind? If you're like me and can't imagine this in your mind, then you may have something called aphantasia. Aphantasia is basically where your brain is unable to imagine or create mental images. And of course, like pretty much all medical issues, it's a spectrum. For example, say you were to give a scale to aphantasia. Five being you can see everything in your imagination super vividly, and one being you can barely see anything at all, or half the time, nothing. I would be a level one, not being able to see anything at all through my imagination. I realized I had infantasia through a conversation I had with some family members, and when I realized it, I was kind of in shock a little bit. And when I found out, I really wasn't even that upset that I couldn't imagine. I was more just kind of sad that it was something that everyone else could do that I couldn't. Before this, I didn't know other people could, so I didn't know I was missing something. Also, I'm a marching band student, and before we would perform every competition, we would stand in a circle, do breathing exercises, stretches, and the final thing that we did before going out to actually perform was where we would stand in a circle, hold hands, and we would get a pep talk from our director. They would also tell us to imagine ourselves on that field. I always thought they were kidding. I didn't know that everyone else in that circle could actually see themselves out on that field when they closed their eyes. We would be repeatedly told to close our eyes and actually imagine, and I'm just sitting here like, why? What's the point of this? Despite me not fully understanding why we were told to imagine ourselves on the field, the time everyone else spent imagining I could just breathe, it helped calm my nerves and helped me to be grounded, especially because I'm a pit person. I don't have to march. I sit in the corner and play mallets. Now back to my Aphantasia. If you're watching this video and realizing, hey, I may have Aphantasia. Hey, how'd you get in here? I would recommend asking your parents or siblings if they can imagine things, because whether they realize it or not, your first degree relatives may have it as well. I hopefully left a link in the description to some research articles that mention this, but Aphantasia can be genetic and hereditary, so the chances of your siblings or parents having it, if you have it, are a little higher. For example, my mom has Aphantasia like me, but my dad and sister do not have it. Also, are you good? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Also, if you don't have Aphantasia, you shouldn't be surprised because it's only estimated to be between 1% to 3% of the population. Meaning, we're rare and cool. You know you can't imagine, right? Shut up. Aphantasia was a semi-recent discovery as it was only discovered in the 1880s and no one really did any research on it up until the early 2000s. The fact that we haven't started researching Aphantasia up until recently is not all that surprising as it affects such a small amount of the population. Also, I want to say that different articles said different percentages of who it affected, so if you got a different percentage, I'm sorry. Another thing is my dreams are far less vivid. So you're immune to nightmares. Why are you complaining? Why are you still here? Some of you may remember a couple months ago, I made a video talking about how I had a dream where I was stabbed and how I wasn't that freaked out about it. And I think this might explain why, because it's not like I can actually see what's going on in the dream. I can only feel that I'm experiencing it. So yes, theoretically, I'm more immune to nightmares because I can't actually see something jumping out at me or something but I don't know what that really gains me here. So if you can't really have nightmares, why are you a wimp and won't watch horror movies? Okay, that was just uncalled for. Also, when researching for this video, I found a couple articles that mentioned that people with Aphantasia can have a higher IQ. Okay, the article said it, not me. If you thought this video was interesting or you're maybe thinking that, oh wait, do I have Aphantasia? I would definitely recommend watching Anthony Padilla's video on Aphantasia because when he interviewed multiple different people who has it, I could relate to many of their experiences and I thought it was really interesting. So thanks for watching. Bye.